In this video, we'll learn how to open a new workspace tab in Lightning Console app. So let's go to our VS Code. Let's create a new component. I'll name it as Open New Tab. And first, we'll go to Meta File, change the version to 60, make these expose true, and set some targets. And the targets are app page, record page, and home page. But you can set according to your need. Then we'll come to HTML file. We'll create a lightning card. We'll give a title as open new tab. And here we'll create a div with class so that our content not touch the border of the card so we are giving some padding around it and now here we're going to create some button so to start with i'll create first button simply by saying lightning hyphen button and the button has attribute label i'll say open tab using record id and here on click we'll call the method we give the method name as open tab record id i'll just wrap it yeah so let's create this method now the scenario is when we load this component a button will come on screen on click of that button it should open a new tab in a workspace or lightning console app with the record id that will set here so to use the workspace api we need to import that so we'll say import open tab so it's a workspace api method we are gonna use open tab from lightning slash platform workspace api and we are going to call this method it will take some property as an object so inside the object it takes recorded it takes many properties but we'll show you one by one all those all of them so it start will it will take record id what record id needs to open or basically which record needs to be open so i'll just come to my org and select this account name and we'll, we want whenever we click on this button it should open this account i'll copy the id from the url and pass it here then when we open the tab right so you see this tab has genie point that's the name i want a custom name so you can pass label we can call it as troop then i want whenever we open it it should get the focus this background you see the focus is there on the tab so we'll say focus is true that's how we call the open tab and if there is an error we'll simply catch that error console dot error error in opening tab and we'll just print the error so let's deploy this component it's saying is not a valid attribute let's see what mistake we did so it's on click not capital c in some programming framework or basically javascript framework we use c capital like in react so that's why i mistyped it it is deployed now let's come back to our case record let's go to edit page let's drag the component open new tab top let's try it again i guess it didn't drop yeah hit save it saves hit back and now you can see that our component is on the page and when i click on this open tab using record id it should take me to a 
account page so i'll just close these sub tabs now if i click on this it will it should open a new tab so let's click on this button you can see immediately it open it it changed the label from genie point to troop and it brings the focus to the tab so that's how we open the tab now we have multiple variants uh, we can use record id we can use a dedicated url or we can use the page reference so let's explore other two options as well so that was the first option now let's copy the same button and paste it below and we'll say this one open tab using url and we'll call it as open tab URL will create this method here and then we'll call the same code here instead of record ID we'll use URL and we can give the URL of the account so I'll come here I'll copy this whole URL replace this ID with the URL and let's deploy and see this time we'll say a troop url the label right let's deploy this let's refresh the page now refresh the account page i need to refresh the case page so that's this now you can see that on the component we have the second button open tab using url now if i click this let's see what happened let's close the previous tab let's open this now you see it opened the account again using the url and change the label to troop url now let's see what happened when we come back and open this tab using record id because record id we have mentioned in the url pointing to the same account so previously we click on this it changed the label to troop url and open the tab now if there is a tab already available and we click on open tab using record id what happened let's see as soon as i click on this it just bring the focus on the tab and change the label from troop url to troop okay so that was the second approach let's look at the third approach now we have the third option let's copy the button and we can call it as open tab page reference you can call it as page reference and let's create this method you might have used this page reference approach during the uh, lightning navigation or when we do the navigation from one page to another so similar approach we're gonna do here as well i'll copy first open tab now here instead of url what i'm gonna use is page reference as a property name which take an object now in object we'll define usually properties so the first property is type now what type of page you are referring to i'll say standard underscore object page it should be double underscore 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 object page then we need to define the attributes in attributes we'll say object api name it can be contact account opportunity so i'll say account i want to open account page and i want to open account list page okay so we'll say action name list and we'll change the label to accounts list let's see how it works now so let's deploy this it's deployed let's go and refresh the page now here we have the third button open tab using page reference so let's click on this and see what happened as soon as i click here you see another tab gets opened with account list view and the label is changed to accounts list 
that's the name we have given so we have three ways to open a tab either you can use with record id page reference or with url now the question is because all three properties sits under the same object what will happen if i did given all three properties in one go so that is possible but there is a priority for that the priority is if within this objective page reference is defined that has the highest priority then after that record id and then at the end url so that's the order so i can put that comment here page reference has the highest priority if it's available it take that as the action point after that record id and url so this order it works now next thing is we build the component but we haven't done the uh, like check whether the app is in console or not and it's always a good practice because in real time you might have a scenario you want to execute certain things only if it's a console navigation or a console app right so let's import our is console navigation um workspace api and here we'll use wire quickly we call oops and we use it as a property we'll say is console navigation i'll change i to small so that it will be a property name and i'll import the wire and now what we want is there are two things either you hide the buttons if it's not a console property otherwise on click of button you can put a check run only if this dot is console is there in some places you might have seen they are doing the other way around something like if this dot is console navigation is not there then we are returning it's up to you what kind of style you write but i'll just simply go with this approach if this dot console navigation is available then only run this will cover this all places because if by mistake we added this component somewhere else apart from console app it will break the page so we'll just for a paper side we'll wrap our actions or all the methods that we are calling inside the if block so that if it's a console app then only it runs so let's deploy this is deployed let's go and refresh the page and we'll quickly do the round round of testing whether our tabs are working or not after adding that check i'll close all the tabs i'll go to case i'll open any case number i click on open tab using record id it is working then i click on open tab using url it is also working it update the label then open tab using page reference and this is also working other than these properties you can add icon or alternative text if you want to change this icon like in case we have this suitcase or in accounts we have this building so you can change there are a couple of more properties but for this video i guess that's more than enough so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video